Good morning, students. Am I audible? Very few attendance. Uh, what about the others? They are joining, okay? So we will be waiting for another two minutes, okay? So it's not properly visible. Okay. So here you write the question. Okay. If Y1 and Y2 are alternate depth in a rectangular channel. So that. If YN and Y2 are alternate depth in a rectangular channel, so that then we have to prove this expression, okay? That YC cube is equal to twice Y1 square Y2 square divided by Y1 plus Y2. So that YC is nothing but our critical depth. And we all know if y1 and y2 are the alternate depth, that means the specific energy with respect to y1 and specific energy with respect to y2 will be same. Okay, because here it mentioned yn and y2 are the alternate depth. Okay, you write the question that if y1 and y2 are alternate depth in a rectangular channel, so that critical depth that is your yc cube is equal to twice y1 square y2 square divided by y1 plus y2. This we have to prove. And the second part of the question is we have to again prove for specific energy also. That y1 square plus y1 y2 plus y2 square divided by y1 plus y2 okay so what the question says if your y1 and y2 are two alternate depth in a rectangular channel then we have to prove that our critical depth q is equal to this expression and for specific energy is this expression that is your y1 square plus y1 y2 plus y2 square divided by y1 plus y2 okay. so we move on to the solution so as uh, i have already discussed if y1 and y2 are the alternate depth that means we have same specific energy 
or both the depth okay so that is why we have considered e1 is equal to e2 okay So E1 is equal to E2. So for E1, we are going to consider the depth Y1, okay? So we are going to write the specific energy equation here. So we all know in the specific energy, we will be having only two terms. One is Y and one is V square by 2G. Okay, V square by 2G. Okay, so as we are considering that E1, so this depth will be 1, okay? And that velocity will be v1. Okay, this will be your y1 plus v1 square by twice z is equal to y2 plus v2 square divided by twice z for e2. Okay, so as y1 and y2 are the alternate depth. Okay, so we are replacing that velocity by q by a. Okay, so that is why y1 plus q square divided by a1 square because here the depth of flow is y1 that is why y i a1 square y z is equal to y2 plus q square by a2 square y z okay we are replacing velocity by discharge divided by area okay we are replacing velocity by Discharge divided by area. Okay. And if you remember, our small q is nothing but discharge divided by width of the channel. Okay. So in place of discharge, you can also write small q multiplied by capital B. That is your width of the channel. Okay. <clears throat> so after this uh, equation then we are replacing this q value by this equation small q multiplied by width of the channel so that is why that q is square is there so that is why it's small q square b1 square and here also small q square b2 square other terms will remain same Okay, so you write down till here.
Over. So then we proceed to the next. Okay. So we are replacing that this source by small q multiplied by b. Okay. After that, so we all know for rectangular channel, we have already derived this expression that uh, yc is equal to. Q by twice z to the power one by three. Okay, it's q square by twice z. Okay, q square by twice z to the power one by three. Okay, so or you can also write this this equation is like this: q y c q b is equal to q square by twice z. So after replacing that discharge value, okay, our intention is to find out the expression for QCQ. Okay, so we have to bring that use uh, YC in this particular equation because if you see here, we don't have any critical depth here. Okay, so we have to bring the critical depth here, then only we can find out expression for this. Okay. So always whenever you are going to solve a numerical always see what is given and what you are what you are going to find out okay so our aim is to find out an expression for yc cube okay our aim is to find out the yc cube so we have to bring that yc cube in that particular equation and only we will get this expression that is why that is why after replacing that q value by q square multiplied by b1 square then we have to bring that yc value okay so yc cube is nothing but q square divided by g okay is k divided by g okay not twice g i did mistake so it's a g only q square divided by g for rectangular channel okay so here we have q square here and we have g okay so in place of q square by g we can write by c by c and other term will be will be left and b1 square divided by twice a1 square b1 square divided by twice a1 square okay only q square by z in place of q square by z we have written by cq so here also q square by z in place of q square by z by cq okay after that we are going to replace that area by b into y because uh, in the equation it's given it's a rectangular channel okay so in place of area we are going to write in a, again b1 into y1 square as area square is there so it will be b1 square y1 square okay so this b1 square and b1 square will be cancelled out and similarly here also okay in place of a2 we are going to solve that break that area by b2 multiplied by y2 okay but square is there so that is why b2 square multiplied by y2 square other terms will remain same okay so here if you see that b1 square b1 square will be cancelled out what will be left out is y1 plus yc cube divided by twice y1 square okay and plus y2 here also b2 square b2 square will be cancelled out and left out will be yc cube divided by twice 
y2 square. Okay. Okay. So here that uh, after this equation. We have already discussed till this expression. Then see, uh, we are going to take LCM here and we are trying to find out. So it will be multiplied. So twice y1 square multiplied by y1. So it will be y1 cube plus yc cube. Okay. Divided by twice y1 square. Okay. Similarly, here also we take LCM and we solve. Okay. That is y2 is there and here y2 square so it will be multiplied so twice y2 cube plus yc cube okay this is simple mathematics okay. so this two and this two will be cancelled out okay this two and this two will be cancelled out then you cross multiply okay then you cross multiply cross multiply Cross multiply and see what you are getting. See here 2 and 2 will cancel out. So what will be this? Uh, we are multiplying this this part with this. Okay. So that is why twice y1 cube is there, then y2 square. Okay. Then plus yc cube multiplied by y2 square. Okay. Is equal to you have to multiply by this with this. Okay. So it will be twice y2 cube and then multiplied by y1 square plus yc cube multiplied by y1 square. After this, uh, we are going to bring that YC because we need to find out an expression for YC cube. So we are going to bring that YC cube in left hand side. Okay. So here you see YC cube Y2 square and we have another term with YC cube is this. Okay. So if you bring this into left hand side, it will be minus because here it is positive. So if you bring it in the left hand side, it will be negative. So if you take common yc cube, so it will be y2 square minus y1 square. Okay. Is equal to, so it will be left out with this term twice y1 square y2 cube, y1 square y2 cube minus if you bring this term in the right hand side, it will be minus. Okay. Because here it is positive. Okay. If you bring it here, it will be negative. Okay. Then uh, yc cube, then it will become divided by this. Okay. So here, if your a square minus b square, a square minus b square, you can write like this a plus b 
and a minus b okay this is simple mathematics okay a square minus b square you can write a plus b and a minus b so here you consider this is a and this is b so it will be you can write a plus b and a minus b okay here also in this part you take common twice y1 square y2 square what will be left out is y2 minus y1 okay in that equation and if you bring this here you can use this equation that a square minus b square is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b so these two term will be cancelled out And you are going to get the final expression as this. Okay, this is the expression that twice y1 square y2 square divided by y1 plus y2. So it's a plus b or b plus a is same thing. Okay, 1 plus 2 or 2 plus 1 is same thing. You can write y1 plus y2 or y2 plus y1. So do you have any doubts regarding this derivation? I think it's very simple. Only you have to use because that uh, in very beginning in the question it's given that y1 and y2 are the alternate depth. So we understand that the specific energy will be same. So you equate both the specific energy and you try to bring that yc value, okay, at your critical depth for your rectangular channel. And then you solve, okay. Other things are very simple and just simple mathematics, okay? So if you solve, then definitely you will come up with this equation. Okay. So that first part is over, then we have another part. That we have to find out an expression for specific energy also. Okay. So then we are going to take this specific energy equation. Okay. Specific energy. And y1 plus v1 square by twice c. Okay. So again, that v we are replacing by q by a. Okay. Similarly, that we we did in previous case. Okay. That velocity we are going to replace by discharge by area. Okay. Then we replace that discharge per unit width is q. So this size is equal to B into Q or Q into B, okay? Same thing. So then we are going to replace that discharge by Q into B. Okay. In this uh, previous case, how we have replaced the discharge, okay? Then again we bring that YC value, that YC Q or rectangular channel is nothing but our Q by G. Q square divided by G, okay. So that q square divided by g we bring yc cube p1 square will be there divided by twice a1 square okay okay other terms will be remain same okay then again this will be yc cube we replace this area a1 by p1 into y1 okay because it's a rectangular channel is given multiplied by y1 So it will be square, so it will be b1 square multiplied by y1 square. Okay. So that b1 square will be cancelled out. What will be left out? yc divided by twice y1 square. 
After this, after this expression, then yc cube, y1 plus yc cube divided by twice y1 square, we have to replace that yc cube by using that expression that we have already derived in previous case. Okay? So that yc cube expression, we have to replace here. That we have derived in the previous case and y c cube is equal to twice y1 square y2 square divided by y1 plus y2 okay that expression that we have just now we have derived for the rectangular channel that we have to replace substitute here in place of y c cube okay so it will be twice y1 square y2 square divided by y1 plus y2 then this is will be there multiplied by twice y1 square okay so this two and this two will be cancelled Then you again take calcium and you find out the expression. It will be y1 square. So it will be y1 square multiplied by y1. It will be y1 cube. And then we have this also multiplied by y1 plus y2. Plus y1 square y2 square divided by y1 plus y2 y1 square. Then if you break this bracket, it will be y1 to the power 4 plus y1 cube y2 plus y1 square y2 square. Okay, and in denominator y1 plus y2 y1 square. If you I think we have discussed in here, okay. So after that, if you see here y1 to the power 4, then y1 cube, then y1 square. So from here we can take a common of y1 square. It will be if we take out y1 square, it will be y1 square. Because here it will be y1 to the power 4. So it will be y1 square plus y1 cube is there. So it will be y1 y2 plus again y1 square we have taken it out. So what will be left out is y2 square. Okay. So this y1 square and here we have y1 square it will be cancelled out. Okay. okay. So this is the expression final expression for specific analysis.
we are almost uh, towards the end of this unit okay only we have one thing is need to discuss that is your specific force okay this is a very small topic and then we have a derivation okay so the derivation part we will do in the next class okay derivation part we will do in the next class only the derivation is left out okay we will do the uh, derivation in the next class and then we move on to the next unit i think it will be in next uh next week i think okay it will be in november okay so uh, with that derivation this uh, unit will be over and you will be left out with only two units one is your gradually varied flow and i think one is another one is hydraulic flow. that is your rapidly varied flow okay so don't worry we will complete our syllabus within 15th of november uh actually that call is okay so here also y in uh, y axis we have depth and in x axis we have force that is specific force okay and other terms are all the same okay and then for particular discharge in a particular channel you will be having one curve the pattern is very much similar to your specific energy curve okay, okay. so then uh, this minimum specific force is also for critical depth okay like your specific energy card okay and minimum force for that particular depth is critical depth okay then if you change the discharge then if you join past straight line then again it will be divided into two half one is super critical zone one is sub critical zone is very much similar to your specific energy curve only that e is equal to y line at 45 degrees there in specific energy curve which is not here in specific force okay others all are same so you can uh, draw this diagram later on also once uh, i will give you this video So that uh, that uh, second discharge curve will this side or that side it depends on the discharge. Okay, so if it is more, then it will come here, or if less, it will go below that discharge. Okay. So suppose if it is a 15 and it is then it will be increased to 20, then it will be like this. Okay. So you can write down the definition. Specific force is defined as the sum of momentum of flow specific force is defined as the sum of momentum of flow per second per unit width and is also called force per unit weight specific force is defined as the sum of momentum of flow per second per unit weight and also it's called force per unit weight it is denoted by capital F and you can write down this expression, okay? F is equal to Q square by V A square plus A X bar, okay? It's A X bar, X bar. So what it says that specific force in two section. Suppose if this is your river cross section, this is the bottom of the channel. If you consider two section, one is here and one is here. If you consider two section one and two, the specific force in both the section will remain same. 
when this loop when this loop is very small or zero okay if this slope of the channel is very small or very or it is zero then you can say that specific force for both the section is same okay and also if the frictional force is neglected between the two section okay definitely that friction force cannot be zero you are going to consider or not it depends on you if you don't consider or if you neglect that friction force that then we can say that specific force for both the section is same okay. so this is all about your specific force in the next class we discuss the derivation and then then uh, I think we'll be having two classes in the next week. So, uh, in the first class, we are going to derive that equation and then uh, we will move on to the next unit. Okay. So, we are going to end today's lecture here. If you have any doubts, you can uh, discuss now.